This is part 45 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the Bootstrap Popover plugin. Bootstrap Popover is an extension to Tooltip. Working with the Popover plugin is very similar to working with the Tooltip plugin. The difference is Popover has an option to display both a title and content, while Tooltip only has an option to display a title. A popover looks like this. Notice it has got both title and content. At the moment, what we've got here is a button. We're using two button classes, btn and btn primary. Notice we have set both id and title attributes. Data dash toggle attribute is set to tooltip. Within our jQuery ready function, we are finding this button using its id and then calling the tooltip method. So at this point, when we hover over this button, we get the tooltip as expected. We discussed this in our previous videos. Now let's see how easy it is to convert this tooltip to a popover. Remember, the popover has also got content along with the title. To get this content, we are going to use a different attribute, and that is data-content attribute. We also need to make a couple of other changes to convert this tooltip to a popover. At the moment, notice data-toggle attribute is set to tooltip. We need to change that to popover. Similarly, we need to change this method from tooltip to popover. Let's save our changes, reload our web page. At this point, when we click on the button, we get the popover, and when we click on it again, the popover is dismissed. So the trigger here is click. That's the default. Now at the moment, when we click on it, we get the popover, and when we click anywhere outside the button, look at that, the popover is not dismissed. If you want the popover to be dismissed when you click outside the button, then we use a different trigger. So let's first set the data dash trigger attribute and the default value for this is click and I'm going to change that to focus so when the button loses focus the popover is going to be dismissed look at this when I click on the button we get the popover and when I click outside the button anywhere and when the button loses focus look at that the popover is dismissed. Now if you want this popover on hover then change the trigger from focus to hover. So when we reload this page and on hover we get the popover as expected. We can also display images using popovers. Let's display penguins in a popover like this. So within our solution explorer we've got penguins image in the images folder. So the content now for our pop-ups is going to be an image element. So let's include an image element. Source is going to be images for slash penguins.jpg. And let's also change the title from popover title to penguins. All right, so the content here is HTML. So we have to tell that, and we tell that by using data dash HTML attribute, and I'm going to set that to, to true. And let's display the image, you know, the popover below the button. So I'm also going to set data dash placement attribute and the value for that is going to be bottom because we want the image at the bottom. Let's save our changes, reload a web page, and at this point, look at this, when I hover the mouse over this, we get the image, but it's too large. Now we want this image to be responsive, so if you want this to be responsive on this image element, let's use img responsive class. Let's save our changes, reload our web page, and look at this. Now we get the image as expected. Now, working with this popover is very similar to working with the tooltip plugin. Majority of the options, methods, and events, as you can see from this table, you know, they are very similar between the popover and tooltip plugins. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.